Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing to look at DSM versus QUTS Hero, BTRFS versus ZFS in many ways. We are still using the new 6 bay from Synology, the DS1621 Plus, and we're comparing it against the TSH973AX. Why do we choose them? Simple, they've got the same CPU inside. They're both taking advantage of the uh, Ryzen CPU, the AMD Ryzen, it's an embedded SoC processor, quad core. 2.2 gigahertz it's inside both of these devices and both of them have got ddr4 memory although arguably the synology with only four gig by default um, does use ECC memory and the QNAP with normally 8 gig by default or um, 32 at maximum they've both got that same maximum utilizes just normal ddr4 memory but has the benefits in many ways of ZFS. Now, today's video, we're going to look at photo management. Now, a few disclaimers straight off the bat. I am using OBS here for screen recording, and unfortunately, that does mean that there may be the odd graphical hiccup along the way. We're using a lot of GPU here, and if we have a look, we can see here that although we're on that Wi-Fi setting there, that's going to be going nuts. We can see that both the CPU and its embedded graphics on this laptop the on i7 there in conjunction with the graphics card in the laptop it means that the fan you're going to hear it there in the background every time it ramps up a little bit i'm sorry about that not much i can do about that so i do apologize if you hear that noise um also it's worth highlighting we are using dsm 6.2 here on our synology and dsm 6.2 has two photo applications it has photo station and synology moments Whereas QUTS Hero, the ZFS version, only has QMaggie, their photo recognition software here. And although there is Photo Station for QNAP, that only both of those applications are available on normal QTS. So do bear that in mind. So although we are looking at two apps on the Synology, because of DSM 6.2, and one app on the QNAP, it's worth highlighting that when DSM-7 arrives quite soon, there will only be one application, and that is Synology Photos. And of course, we will make another video then, but for now, do remember that when Synology Photos arrives, there'll only be the one app, and it will combine the elements of both of these apps. So let's get it straight out of the way. Let's look at Photo Station here on the Synology. I personally am less keen on photo station than I am about moments. The reason being that photo station for me, although it does have a lot of the more uh, photographer um, interested elements to it in terms of controlling, sharing, distribution, uh, linking to other platforms, all of these lovely options that, which will be ported over to Synology Photos. I always think uh, photo station Although it is a very, very interesting and viable alternative to the likes of Google Photos and photo backup tools uh, on paid cloud services with uh, iPhone users and iOS and stuff, I always think Photo Station doesn't really portray the Synology rhetoric. It's got a lot of configuration options, which I personally like normally in a NAS, but I think photo users particularly a lot of photographers, won't like a lot of these options here. It's very intimidating. It's something I would have expected from QNAP um, in their user interface, which is always a lot more configurable. And I think there's a bit of a clash of ideas, and I think this is one of the other ways, uh, one of the other reasons that Synology have merged Moments and Photo Station into one viable application. And I am looking forward to showing you guys Synology Photos once the public beta is out there. I can't really show for um, their own NDA reasons, the private um, one, but a lot of the options of Photo Station have been merged into Synology Photos in quite a good way. And there's a lot of configuration too, but Photo Station, uh, you have to make sure that the photos in your NAS are in a preset location, or you can upload them directly. So for example, you can create a new album, uh, give it uh, a um, name there, and then you can go ahead and assign user privileges, whether it's a shared album or not. And then within that album, you can then add photos to where you either search uh, on your local NAS and go for directories there. But then, of course, you still have to import them over. And there's little things that I'm not overly keen on here. If we go into the um, tab here of the share folder there, we go into Plex Media there, open it in and go into Photos and go into Pictures. We can select an album 
there, but we can't just control A. You have to manually select them all, and then it copies them into this other directory, which doesn't feel very intuitive at all. Whereas QMaggy on the side here, and we will be coming back to QMaggy afterwards, does have the ability to browse files and folders. It gives you the ability to just go through and just go through the structure of your system very, very easily in a way that's just not present there on the Synology platform. And again, the, the Synology one, you can upload files directly into the application, which is always handy. And when you do view the albums that are in preset photo directories, which means that on the Synology, if you add photos to the directories created by the system, so the photo directory that gets created when you install the app, if you put the photos in there, they will appear in the photo station drop down here. But a lot of people don't want to be restricted to putting photos in preset folders. You want to be able to tell your NAS system to search the directories that you created, not the other way around. And QNAP manages to do a very good job of that with Multimedia Console, which covers all of the multimedia apps on your NAS system and then allows you via this one interface to go into the content management and say, right, in, in QMaggy, I want the system to search these folders, not be forced to put my photos in those preset albums. You can even create exclusions as well, exclusion file types, exclusion folder types. They're all available to be selected. And as you add more apps, they will all be added here. The same goes with indexing. Periodically, your system, when you upload new photos or you want the system to recheck photos, Multimedia Console has that built into the one interface where you can create a schedule of indexing as well as assigning its priority. The same goes for thumbnail generation, which has always been a bane of NAS use in the early days, where thumbnail generation really slowed things down. And it's something you can schedule along with transcoding and pre-offline transcoding, as well as on the fly go ongoing jobs, all via that one interface. These are all things that Synology kind of feature in the control panel, such as the indexing, but a lot of these things have to be dug into, and they're not as intuitively placed, which is something I never thought I'd say about a Synology over a QNAP. Now, PhotoStation does allow you to get a lot of information, and I'm surprised that PhotoStation is not readily available on the QUTS platform right now. If you go into the multimedia and photo section of things such as looking just for the word photo and scan the available apps, you can see that it's not readily available. And that's a shame because one of the main benefits of PhotoStation on the QNAP as well as on the Synology is the ability to look at a photo and get a lot of metadata out of that photo. Take, for example, this picture of a Christmas tree or this picture of a hallway that was made out for a diehard party. That's right, super cool people. If we have a look, we can find out more information about this photo with relative ease. Everything from the aperture used to the device that was used to take that photo. Look at the huge amount of information there on the side of the screen. If we find that same picture here on the QNAP system here, so we will have to scroll down Let's try and find it amongst all of these pictures of Christmas. And again, I appreciate that the way I'm doing this is hardly the most intuitive. You can have a look and find that same photo. Go to the Information tab, View More Information, and there isn't as much ready information here on screen in QMaggy. Photo Station for the QNAP does provide all of this information. And that lack of application on the QUTS Hero platform is certainly worth highlighting. Now, moving away from PhotoStation, we can compare these apps a little bit more faithfully. So for example, we can have a look here and have a look at Moments. Now Moments and the QMaggy platform is something we have compared here on the channel before, both in their mobile form and desktop. Running on QUTS Hero, we can have a look at both of these and one area of distinction between these two very early on is for example this photo here which looks horrendous now this is a gif photo there that, um, if we go back to that previous one in Synology photos you may have noticed that if we go back into the photo settings then when we were looking at photo station 
it was playing that GIF in real time. So once we went to the Christmas album and we scrolled down, we would find GIFs playing there in real time via the web browser, which is still pretty impressive. Something that's not present here, even though, as we can clearly see, this is a GIF file not being played. Again, a little disappointing there that both Moment and QMaggy weren't able to play that. If we go back into the list of options, one of the reasons for a separate photo app on both of these platforms is due to AI photo recognition. The ability, as a lot of us take advantage of on third-party platforms, for the system to use AI-powered recognition to see what is in the photos. So for example, at the moment we look at a timeline or we can go to the folder view, but again, this is only folders within the preset folder that it tells you to utilize. In this case, it is the drive and moments folder. The QNAP on the other hand does have folder access if we choose to go through it. I've just not enabled it here. If we go to the photo section again, of both of them, we can go through the individual tabs with both of them having that albums view broken down into people, subjects, or as they call it, things on the QNAP and places too, where it takes advantage of things like geolocational data on photos that have um, GPS recording or recognizing certain landmarks. Now, in terms of people, we can look at the people interface of both of these and we can see that more people have been recognized on the Synology platform. It has to be said that right now the improvement in the AI recognition is very clear here on Moments. Again, lots of the same person, of course. I'm featured several times with different haircuts, sunglasses and hats, but these can be merged. So, for example, we can go for this picture of me here, add my name, and there we go. We've got my name. And if we find another picture of me here, if we scroll down, there's another picture of me. We can click who's this. The minute we type the R, it will say, do you want to merge these people? You say yes, and now they're merged. And now if a photo is recognized as that person there, they get added to the selection. And it's that straightforward. And you can add people very easily. And as you add more and more people, they will all be added to the list. So we add a person there. Sorry about the caps lock, everyone. And there you can see that it's added. So if we put in both of those names, it now finds pictures of me and this guy here. All of them together because I tagged in our names. It's that straightforward, it's very intuitive and very straightforward and easy. The QNAP side of things, again, we can go ahead and do that again. So I'm added there. We'll add another pile of pictures of me, perhaps the ones with the moustache or has it recognized the moustache picture? It has, it actually managed to identify me as the same person. Look at that terrible picture of me there. And we can do the same thing again and find that same picture of my colleague there. So we'll go for him, find him there. There he is. Maybe find one more of them just to be on the safe side. Type that in, merge those two names and done. So we'll go to the search bar again. We'll search for people. We can upload a person, which will then search it, the existing database and recognize them in advance, or we can just do a simple search. So if we do a search there for, go for it there, do a search, it doesn't find the grouping in the same way that the Synology did. Now, we can change those search parameters where we can search um, all criteria there and we can include people and add them so this way we can manually select these people and then find them and then commit a search that's slightly different but again it's not quite the same thing and I've got to give kudos to Synology Moments and ultimately Synology Photos when it arrives to still include that feature. Now subjects is the next one this is where it can identify everything from animals to food to locations to items this is an area where previously QNAP have done a lot better, largely because when we have looked at these people and it has broken down on the Synology side, a lot of the search functions are a little more simplified. Stuff like food, alcohol, there isn't a vast amount of um, finery in their um, search results. So fast food 
is branched into a larger array of covering here. Whereas if we search the word burger, let's have a look, it still finds it. So the options are there, but the breakdown of the results doesn't seem as straightforward because you're not seeing them firsthand. The AI finds them, but as you can see, it did at least find hamburger there, which is probably the crossover. Now, on the right-hand side of the screen here, we have most of the same results, but a better diversity of breakdown in them. A lot of the time, for example, identifying not just bread, but waffles there are the base, identifying different kinds of bread, identifying different kinds of drink, different kinds of alcohol, different kinds of sub-genres, something we've seen before and continues to be the case. And again, very similar, probably using a near identical uh, AI algorithm, but with different tweaks in between of their software and recognition, it can't be ignored that I think in terms of subcategories, QNAP wins here, rather than the first tier where Synology seemingly does the job. Now, places is another one. We can move into identification of places. And again, look at the disparity between these two. And a lot of this is to do with improved recognition in the background on the Synology platform. Although you can, of course, map it out on a map series here. It will tell us lots of information about where photos have been taken over a general range of places. The Synology platform just broke it down so much more, breaking it down to different counties and towns and even countries worldwide where these photos have taken place. Now, looking between the two of them, I think, again, this comes down to ease of use. The Synology platform and DSM just allows photo recognition and photo handling and categorization to be a lot more intuitive, easy, and user-friendly. It just lacks a heck of a lot of the customization and uh, utility to the end user that the QNAP platform has. The QNAP platform allows you to pick the folders, allows the system to browse your architecture and your folder structure with the Synology urging you to do it, things its way because it knows best as far as it's concerned. And for it to move as fluidly and as quickly as possible, that preset default attitude to files and folders needs to exist. You get better performance, but a more restrictive architecture. Now, when Synology Photos arrives, where it merges the utilities of photo stations and moments together, that's going to be a very different story, and I'm looking forward to see how that pans out. Uh, QNAP, on the other hand, I'm hoping they get Photo Station out there for your QUTS Hero soon, because I think as good as QMaggie is, I miss a lot of the utility of Photo Station, and I think it makes QMaggie seem like only half the overall product for a number of people. And of course, between these two platforms, the versatility is going to be key for people that are going to do um, photo editing on the fly, whether they want to use mapped network drives or create target iSCSI LUNs. Both of these systems have provisions in place for both, for those that want to edit on their NAS as mapped network drives. But got to say, I think QNAP do this much, much better. And if you're a photo editor that needs some oomph as well as a better arrangement of 10GBE, QNAP has probably got your back that little bit better. It's just a shame that the utilities aren't quite as smooth and user-friendly as that of the Synology. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do click like and subscribe if you had, and stay tuned for more information on QUTS Hero and DSM 6.2. And of course, we will be revisiting this when DSM 7 is fully released in 2021. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.